Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? God bless you. It's Janice Batista. I wanted to do the video a little bit earlier, normally like around 10 something, but I honestly did not get a chance to today. Um, I woke up a little bit late. I wanted to treat myself this morning. Um, I was going through a little problem and a little situation yesterday, and the Lord just put it in my heart. He was like, you know what? You can't get upset with your situation. You need to just embrace it and just sleep in. And I said, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm not even going to wake up early and I'm going to just sleep in. And that's exactly what I did because God is good. So that's the topic this morning. And I'm sorry that I have to do it like this in the car. But um, I'm actually on my way. I have a Spanish class. Um, those of you that may know, I have, uh, I'm a homeschool director. God bless you, sweetie. And I have um, a homeschooling group called Homeschool Hangout. So I have um, a Spanish class that I'm directing today with the kids. And um, so I have to be over there and, you know, getting ready in the morning it's just it was one of those mornings where you know time is of the essence but um, I wanted to give you guys some motivation this morning I wanted to give you guys um, you know some inspiration because sometimes we may go through these situations hey sweetie Dios te bendiga. Um, we may go through these situations where you know where we lose our job and sometimes you know you may lose your job and it's not easy you know when you lose your job and you may be you know stuck in this funk this morning because you're like oh man I just lost my job you know now what I'm gonna do you know now I'm gonna you know go through all these things and sometimes it may be a bummer especially when you're in a job and you're giving it your all you know or sometimes you may not be able to make your rent in time how you doing sweetie God bless you um it's so nice to see you sweetie um you know we may be in a situation where we can't pay our rent you know on time and you know when whenever we in any kind of situation you know that that's you know like what we consider a funk is never good nobody Nobody wants to be stressed out nobody wants to have problems mounting on top of each other you know because it's not easy and then some of you may say well you you asking me to just be happy and just you know put my trust in God and go to church and how I'm supposed to go to church when my life is so chaotic right now I got so many money problems right now my car is breaking down you can't even imagine half the things I'm going through I got like a, a line of 101 haters and everybody's making my life difficult and you just want me to just smile and be happy and just act like you know everything is all good and you know sometimes when we go through certain situations the biggest thing that we miss is the test and the trial because sometimes God puts us in situations so that we can learn from them and every trial that we go through in every situation is believe me is a reason behind it I, I can sit here for days and hours and hours and hours telling you you know all the different trials and tribulations that I had to go through and and you know overcome them and it's not easy to overcome these trials and these tribulations is and any problem is not easy but when you have faith you learn to balance the problem where now you're not so stressed out and the problem that you thought was this big actually you know looks this big because if your God is this big then you know he's gonna be able to to help you and guide you through all those issues that you're going through and all those problems that you're going through and I know a lot of people that they you know instead of you know talking to God and instead of looking for God you know look for a friend or a Christian friend that can give you good counsel you know I know that that's something difficult to find nowadays or, you know because you got so many people that are gossipers and stuff like that and you tell them your business and then they'll go and flip it and tell this person and that person and it, it's not easy but I do believe that there are some still good men and uh, there's still a lot of good Christian men and women out there that can help us and guide us through the problems and not only that maybe they can just offer a prayer with you where it's like if you don't have strength to pray you don't got strength to talk to God find somebody that that you can count on that can pray for for you with your situation if you can make it to church and you can make it through the doors of you know of God's sanctuary ask God to help you and place somebody in your life that's gonna help you and be that support system because believe it or not I don't care how big spiritually you are we all need a support system all the time I don't know how many times I've been so thankful that I've gone through certain situations and and you know have a good support system and, and I'm just so thankful that my support system is my husband you know because 
He's the pastor of the church. He's my everything, you know, and sometimes when I need that guidance, you know, I talk to him and I say, sweetie, I'm going through something right now. I need to tell you my problem and I need to tell you my problem and I, and I don't want you to give me advice like I'm your wife. I want you to give me that advice like a, like a Christian, like if you look at me like another Christian sister, like a daughter of God, I need that advice and I need you to, you know, put that pastoral wall up and say, you know what, you know, give me some good advice. So you know that I can help myself and you know yesterday I was going through a little funk too where it's not easy and like I said even if you're so high spiritually it doesn't stop you from going through the trials it doesn't stop you from going through the tribulations don't think that because we may be pastors that we don't go through the same things that you go through we don't go through the same struggles that you go through all the struggles that you go through we probably go through them a hundred times worse why because when we going through our struggles and our problems and our tribulations we still have to stop what we're doing and help everybody else and it's not easy when you're going through all these struggles and all these trials and all these tribulations and you got to just put your life on hold to help somebody else out you know that's never easy that's something never easy to do but because you love God and you honor God you give God your best and this morning God is asking each and every one of you guys to give God your best don't worry about your situation don't worry about oh my god I lost my job don't worry about you ain't got no food in the fridge if you got to eat cereal in the morning with water have it you know hey sweetie god bless you love if you got to eat cereal in the morning and you got to pretend there's milk in there you know what pretend that that's the best bowl of cereal that you ever had and just pretend that there's milk in there even if you ain't got no fridge even no food in the fridge even if nobody's there to help you even if everybody excuse me that you asked for help you know i'm sorry for all that shaking um i just passed the little verbal tracks even if you ask somebody for help and they don't help you you know God knows why he does things he puts you in those situations so that you can learn from them and be a light to someone else if you going through a situation where you ain't got no food in the fridge I don't know about you but I know the feeling of not having no food in the fridge so if I ever see somebody in a situation I'm not gonna go and help everybody that don't got food in the fridge but I know the feeling so because I know the feeling if I see somebody struggling and going through a little something something I'm gonna go and in return help them you know and give them some groceries because I know the feeling so I just want to encourage you guys this morning that no matter whatever your situation is no matter what you're going through um you know just believe in God and trust in God and you know he's gonna make everything so much more better for you guys so I have to let you guys go because I'm already here at the church and I gotta start my Spanish class and I'm already see I'm late and I got all the moms waiting for me see but I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna put on my happy face and act like everything is all good and I'm not gonna let the stress get a hold of me because sometimes there's certain things that we can't control so whatever your problem is whatever your situation is remember that it's not in your control is in God's control but he got your back don't ever think that you're going through all those situations and God is not gonna have your back he is definitely gonna have your back no matter what the situation is okay guys love you guys bye bye